Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and today we are going to be talking about hair. Why are we going to talk about hair? Well, one, because tomorrow I'm getting a haircut. A haircut! Stacy doesn't get haircuts. Um, I'm going to be getting a pixie cut, and I'm excited about it. It's going to be relatively short, but I, I think I'll like it. Um, it's gonna look something like that. Focus. On one side. That's the back. That's the other side. And then the front. She looks happy, doesn't she? This is actually from um, a video here on YouTube, so I'll link that down below so you guys can go check it out and see if you'll like it. Um, I'm getting this haircut because I want something new. My hair is long. Well, it's not really long. It's about down to here. Uh, it's thick. It's curly. Wavy-ish. It's really damaged because I used to dye, bleach, and cut my hair a lot. Um, and I'm getting it because I want something that doesn't take as much time and effort into it because my hair takes a lot of effort when it comes to drying, styling, just stuff you do with hair in general. Now I'll show you guys my hair. My hair is so dry and damaged and stuff it's, it's not even funny. And um, so that's what my hair looks like. And I usually always wear it up in a bun or a ponytail because when it's down, since it's th so thick, I feel like it's just constricting my face and my head and it's long so when I lay down I pull it and tug it and I just don't like it. I want something that is like having my hair in a bun without having my hair in a bun. So it's up off my face, it's back, it's not like down here and dried out and stuff. So. I'm gonna be getting a haircut. I haven't gotten a haircut in probably like three years. The last time I got a haircut, like an actual haircut cut where they actually cut my hair and you know took length off and everything was probably like three years ago and I wanted a particular hairstyle and I didn't get what I wanted but it worked out so I haven't gotten a haircut by a professional in a long time because my hairstyle was difficult to explain to a hairstylist and um, so I just did it on my own. I cut my own hair, I dyed my own hair, I did everything on my own, which I'm not a professional so I'm surprised it turned out how it turned out. <laughs> um, so getting a haircut you guys. Getting it cut. All oh, this is going bye bye. Yes, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really nervous, and I think I'm even more nervous because I've never had hair that short. I think the shortest I've ever had my hair was like up to my chin, and that was when I was in like fourth grade. So when I was little. Um, I'm worried that it won't fit me. And I hear a lot of people say that uh, pixie cuts don't fit a lot of people, so I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just scared that short hair won't look good on me. I think pros of a pixie cut would be that it wouldn't take as long to dry, which my hair probably takes an hour, an hour and a half, possibly two hours, depending upon if it's up or down, to dry fully. And I think having a pixie cut will make that easier your hair will dry faster because it's shorter I think another pro would be I like to sleep in in the mornings and getting up at 630 to straighten my hair and do my makeup and everything to catch a bus at 730 is ridiculous because I like my sleep and I don't want to wake up and do my makeup for an hour and a half and my hair for half an hour to get ready for school so hopefully when I have a pixie cut I can just wake up 
tease my hair, toss it, turn it, whatever, and then leave. Like, just go with it. Um, I also think that since I get hot really easily, I don't like a lot of hair in my face, so I think having a pixie cut will make that easier on me. Some cons to the haircut, I think, would be probably that it's so short, so I might look like a guy, because when I was younger, I looked like a guy when I had short hair. So, I have to wear makeup. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't care. I'm, I don't care. Um, growing it out will probably be a process, because, is it this side? This side. Uh, a few, like a year and a half ago, maybe. I cut the side of my hair, I had a side cut, and I cut the side of it, and it's just now growing back, and it's in that awkward stage where it's long, but it's still too short to blend in with the rest of my hair, so it like flips out and everything, and it's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie, so I think growing out a pixie cut will be difficult. Um, since I don't go to the hair salon very often because I never really get my hair cut. I think having to go every month or two months to get my hair cut will kind of be expensive. Not only that, but all the products that I'll have to buy to style my pixie cut will probably be another con of getting it. When I get it, I plan on donating my hair if it's healthy enough to be made into a wig. Um, I'm sure they won't turn it down, but you never know. Plan on doing that. Um, when I grow it out, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably just let it grow out how it is and then as the sides and stuff grow out, I'll just trim the bangs and the top accordingly. So hopefully when it gets down to like this awkward stage, I can make it work, which by then I'll probably won't care about it anymore. So yeah. I will make another video tomorrow showing you guys my new hair and yeah we'll just see how that goes so see you guys tomorrow bye